you were sitting here on Yom HaShoah, right? The Holocaust Remembrance Day. How did the Holocaust and its horrors shape early Israeli thinking and politics and society? And 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 what role does the, the, the memories of the Holocaust play as Israel goes into its next phase, its next season of modern history? It's a very good question. Been a change, well, right? the, 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 the state of Israel was founded not because of the Holocaust. Uh, it, it, the, you know, Herzl predated it. Uh, the state of Israel exists because this is our home. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's the home of the Jews. So the Jews have a state in their homeland. The Arabs have 22 states. <laughs> Jews have one. Christians have countless. Um, however, the Holocaust is a central element in the ethos of Israelis. And if I may, mm-hmm. uh, as Prime Minister of Israel, I think about the Holocaust a lot. And what do I think? I realize that the unthinkable can happen. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a, a unique element, unfortunately, in Israel, because America won't be destroyed by anyone. Belgium will not be destroyed by anyone. No one's targeting France or the UK. No one's is set out to annihilate Italy. But there is a country out there, one country in the world, that other countries in, in the, the nations, the family of nations, explicitly say they want to annihilate us. Iran explicitly says they want to annihilate us. Syria, Hezbollah, you name it. And the Holocaust reminds me that we can't uh, lay back supine and expect everything to just be okay. Mm-hmm. No. If we lay down our, our arms, if we're not uh, assertive enough and focused enough and alert enough, horrible things can happen because they did Mm. so the unthinkable can happen and when you are aware of that as prime minister of israel it's a whole additional layer of of Mm. immense responsibility you know when i uh replaced netanyahu we had a 20 minute uh, uh, meeting in the prime minister's office and then he left and i stayed there alone i walked and sat Mm. down at uh, on, on the prime minister's chair. By the way, that prime was a minister's... big moment because Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu had been the longest serving prime minister, and uh, you, you interrupted that flow. So that was a very interesting uh, that, that's change correct. here in Israel. So I uh, parted with uh, Netanyahu and walked. I was alone in the room, sat down, and I realized the huge, uh, profound responsibility the prime minister of the only Jewish state has. Mm. And it, it, it's a, a link in a eternal chain, but we have a huge responsibility and we cannot take anything for granted. 